Time Club has been going about three years. Uh, initially, it was set up by the Football Foundation and the Football Premier League because um, they realised that uh, lots of stuff going for young people, but what about the older generation? <laughs> plus initially and really it's just to get them um, exercising and social activities. Carol's done such an offer at club. He comes once a month, does botch balls and other games with us and all that. He's really smart and he's been doing very well. We're really pleased with him, you know, what he's done for us. Thankfully he's been going now for three years. Unfortunately the funding finished from the Football Foundation uh, but luckily last year we had our local mayor who liked the project so much that he uh, raised funds for it, uh, it's given us another year's grace. Um, so we deal with uh, around four of our local hospices and uh, um, local care homes, drop-in centres, those with dementia, and generally we go and facilitate their uh, playing games like boccia, um, bingo, anything that they want really. Uh, but also we try and get them out of their own environment and social activities like today for example where we have a tea dance with, and that is so successful, we now do that twice a year. Uh, yeah, we're lucky enough that the, uh, the players in the community uh, are doing, doing a great job over the last couple of years. Uh, it's very important that the club and the charity arm of the club, which is obviously the Norwich Community Sports Programme, uh, work together. And since I've been in post as a li liaison officer, I've been lucky enough to make good rapport with players um, and identify certain guys that could do certain jobs uh, and luckily we, we get a couple in that come and do um, the tea dance for us so they'll come in and meet the people, get involved, have pictures um, it's good, so they, they, they generally across the community now the players are really excellent at the club uh, so we're thankful that they, they come in and join us.